So I did a video once where I had an LED and I had it hooked up with a 100 ohm resistor and a lot of people flipped out. <laughs> I'm like, what? that thing's gonna catch on fire. It's gonna melt down. Watch out, watch out. You can only put 20 milliamps into LEDs. Be careful, you're gonna damage it. Um, people need to relax. <laughs> people need to relax and, and think about the actual what's going on. Now, there are a lot of data sheets for LEDs that says absolute maximum 20 milliamps. Now, I don't really know why, but my guess is that they're super cheap Chinese LEDs that they just won't guarantee them above 20 milliamps because they just don't want to be liable for them, okay? But if they're a good quality LED, they could take a lot more than that. Now, back in the days, so I, I've worked on LEDs since 1980. And back in the day, 1980, uh, you needed to pump a lot of current into them because they were really super dim. This is a modern one, okay? And so what I'm gonna do here is, how do I get this all on camera? Let's, uh, let's, all right, there we go. So we're gonna be looking at LEDs will be here, okay? Now the camera's not gonna be able to pick up the brightness of the LED too well. I'm just gonna have to describe it to you. This is, a, this is a nice looking LED, and um, I am driving it at 75 milliamps, okay? So let's drive it at 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps. And, oops, that was not the right one. 20 milliamps, there we go. And it still looks perfectly fine. Um, but the uh, voltage change, right? So this is the forward voltage of the LED and this is the amount of amperage we're putting through. And then this is the watt. So we'll pay attention to the watts, okay? So this is 32 milliwatts. Now, if you think about a quarter watt resistor or an eighth watt resistor, um, you know, 0. 0.125 watts, 0. 0.25 watts, okay? So if you look at the heat sinking capability of a lead frame, that's basically what, an L, what a resistor has. It just has two pieces of wire and all of the heat has to come out of those two pieces of wire. It's very much like an, it's very much like an LED, right? So, like I said, back in the day, um, 50 milliamps was perfectly fine. Everybody drove LEDs at 50 milliamps. Um, and so let's go ahead and I'm gonna be driving all the LEDs today at 75 milliamps just to kind of get a point across. So. Um, how much watts do we have? 0.16 watts, okay? It's not a quarter watt, a little bit more than an eighth of a watt. So is that a lot of power? Is that gonna catch on fire? No! <laughs> it's a, uh, the, the forward voltage has gone up, 2.3 volts, uh, which means the wattage is gonna go up a bit. But um, yeah, so it's, it's perfectly fine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some vintage LEDs. Um, Let's see here. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll put a I'll put a photograph here of all my vintage LEDs. Um, they're they're all pretty cool, <laughs> and we'll just pick some out at random. Uh, let's see. Here's some super old ones. Uh, let's pull this one out. Let's put this one in. This one is pretty vintage. Uh, it's a yellow one, uh, which was very novel in 1983. Maybe yellow came out. Something like that, 1981, 1983, somewhere around there. This is a really nice yellow, so it's probably like at least 1983 vintage or more, but take a look at the wattage, 0.15 watts, right? 75, 75 milliamps, right? Seems pretty fine, seems pretty good. Uh, let's see here, let's uh, pull out another, pull out another red one. These, these leads are s just black. <laughs> they were uh, silver coated leads back in the day and they're just gone black. Uh, yeah, so look at the forward voltage of this thing, 2.8 volts, right? But it's still less than a quarter quarter watt, right? So now back in the day, they dropped a lot of voltage, right? So almost dropping three volts now. So back in the day, they were very, very inefficient. And yeah, they would get hot. Um, it's not hot to the touch. I mean, you can't even, I can't even tell that it's on. I can't even tell that it's warm, okay? And it's almost a quarter watt, right? So it's you know, it's, it's, it's fine guys, you know, don't, don't panic. Now we made some super high efficiency. I worked for Hewlett Packard's Opto Electronics division back in the day. We made some really super high efficiency ones. This one, this one is super, super bright. And you can see it's um, 0.17 Watts, right? It's really, really bright at 75 milliamps. It's great. Now some LEDs, now let's, let's stay with the vintage ones. This one, this one is uber vintage. It has a metal ring on it. 
It's a clear package with a metal ring. This is super old. This is probably 1970s vintage, and it's super, super dim. You can barely see it at all. Um, but it's still an eighth of a watt, right? <laughs> 1.7 volts. So it's probably gallium phosphide, maybe? Uh, it's not one of the tertiary or quaternary um, formulas that made the efficiencies better. They added aluminum, they added indium and stuff. Back in the day, they were either, uh, uh, and this might be gallium arsenide. Um, so gallium arsenide or gallium phosphide were like the earliest of LEDs. This might be gallium arsenide because it's of the forward voltage and stuff. But yeah, it's very, very, very dim. But is it going to burn up? No. Eighth of a watt. Give me a break, guys. Um, here's a cool one. This one's in a metal package. Uh, it's like a TO92 metal package. It's green. Let's see, let's see what color this green is. It's probably really bad yet. Yeah, oh, it's kind of a yellowy. Yeah, you wouldn't even kind of, it's sort of green. Pea, pea green, maybe? It's, ah, it's really, really awful green. Um, 0.16 watts. Okay, fine. You notice that none of these are failing, right? 75 milliamps. Yeah, don't panic, guys. Calm down. All right, let's see here. Whoa, just dropped that one. This one has a really weird shape. So they play shapes with optics to get the candelas. The candelas is an, I don't want to go into that. Anyway, candelas is an on axis measurement. And yeah, 3.2 volts. This one's, this one's super old. This is probably one of the very first uh, yellows. It looks quite a, kind of greeny too. Um, 3.2 volts, quarter watt. Yeah, so this one, if any of them, this one's gonna get warm. And I'm not feeling much of anything. I can tell that maybe it has, it's warmer than room, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. Let me show you some modern LEDs. If you don't believe me saying, well, those old LEDs are heavy duty and, and you can't. Anyway, let's show you some modern LEDs. Uh, and uh, these are ones that I picked up on DigiKey or someplace, I don't know. These are modern LEDs. This is, uh, Ooh, really nice, right? So super, super bright, but it's 0.16 watts, 75 milliamps, uh, 2.3 volts. It's it's not very efficient, not a very efficient red. It 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 has it's not real deep red, so it probably is a tertiary or some kind of compound. Here's a modern yellow. Let's uh, let's put in a modern yellow. That's a nice yellow, very very nice yellow. Two volts, yeah, point. 0.15 watts, fine. Let's put in a modern green. Ooh, 3.2 volts, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, quarter watt, yeah, so, so there's this gap between blue LEDs and yellow LEDs, there's this big gap and the physics of the semiconductors is not good there. So whatever you do, if you try to make a blue one green, you try to make a red one green, it's going to get it into a place where it's not happy and the physics just doesn't add up correctly and you're going to get really, really inefficient LEDs. So green LEDs are some of the worst. So you can actually make a blue LED and then put phosphor on it and convert it up to green and it's actually more efficient that way. But yeah, this is one of those regular greens. And let's put in a blue, because now blue is going to be different. Blue is going to be a gallium nitride LED. All those other ones were like gallium phosphide, gallium arsenide, gallium aluminum. Anyway, um, so this one's super, super, super bright. Uh, 3.5 volts. So definitely it is uh, gallium nitride, gallium nitride. This is a fairly old blue one. So they're coming down in voltage now, but this one's three and a half volts, quarter watt. Uh, 75 milliamps. So are, are we destroying gallium nitride by driving it so hard? Uh, no, no quarter watt. I can't, I can't feel it. I can't feel it getting warm at all. All right. Um, and then let's uh, take a look at an LED that's meant to be driven super hard. These are designed to be driven. I'm not sure how hard these are, are designed to be driven, but at least hundred milliamps, at least, uh, let's, uh, let's put one of these in there. These have a big lead frame. So lots of heat sinking. Ah, sorry, I need to use my other hand here. There we go. Yeah, so this one is super, super bright. It is a tail light LED. It's made for automotive tail lights. Um, so 2.6 volts, um, 1.8 watts. It's on a really, really big heat, heat sink, heat, yeah, heat sink uh, lead frame. 
and it would be uh, on another thing that would add more heat sink capability and stuff. So yeah, you can drive these super, super hard. Uh, let's drive this one at 100 milliamps. Uh, 100 milliamps. Uh, 0.26, yeah. Quarter watt. Quarter watt, guys. Quarter watt. Let's go to 200 milliamps. You're going to blow it up. You're going to melt it down. Uh, yeah, 0.7 watts. Okay, now it's going to get toasty. Now it's going to get toasty. Am I feeling it? 0.7 watts. It hasn't melted my hand yet. <laughs> I can barely tell it's warm. I'm sure at 0.7 watts I'll, I'll be able to feel it, but I still can't. It's got a good, it's got a good heat sink. Anyway, you get the idea, right? That uh, you can drive LEDs a lot harder than the data sheet. And yeah, don't worry about it. Now, if you're designing a product, then yeah, okay. If you're designing a product, then go for the data sheet. But in your garage, drive the LEDs hard. They'll, they'll last you a lifetime. <laughs> I mean, you know, if something's going to be on and it needs to be on, it needs to be reliable and everything, yeah, follow the data sheets, but uh, be, be, be aware that LEDs can be driven really, really hard and uh, without much consequence. Without much consequence. Now, I'm trying to think if I have an LED here I can drive uber hard just for a finale. Let me see if I can find one. All right, on. Yeah, one amp, uh, 14 watts. Um, and like I said, I'm going to turn this one off. But at 14 watts, uh, you can imagine putting a heat sink on this LED and it would last. Uh, these, are, these are like headlight of uh, car headlights and uh, yeah they're made to do the job uh, they are bonded to a very fat piece of copper and you're able to get the heat out of it very quickly and then they're in a, in a uh, particular type of package which actually bolts onto a heat sink in the in the automotive uh, headlight and uh, yeah you can get uh, get a lot of brightness out of these guys mm -hmm.